Fast paint is often regarded as a very limited application, and rightly so. One of its limitations that many people have complained about is that it can't be used to make radiant effects. This is simply not true. Although it's not widely known how to, it is possible. All you need to do is go to image and then attributes. And like I'm going to make gradient like that's, um, oh yeah, that's right. I'm going to make a gradient that's one color on the top, one color on the bottom. So, so I'm going to set the width to one and I'll set the height to 100. Actually, no, width 100. And set height to like 256. Now, I'll take the line tool and I'll make one color, I'll select the select the first color, which I'll, I'm going to make it be, um, I don't know, say, blue. Put it on the upper left corner and drag a line down to the lower right corner. See, it's at the lower right corner of the window on the status bar. See that? Now, on one side, I fill that blue, which is the color that I selected, as you know. Now I'm going to make the other part red. Click red, fill the remaining part in red. And now basically the way this works is it's going to average out the colors. Basically, this top row is all blue, and this bottom row is red. There's still like a bit of blue there. That's, it won't be really noticeable. but. And then it goes, see, like that. As it, as you go down, then it it slides over the line. So as you go down, more red and less blue is in there. So gotta go into image, stretch slash skew, and horizontal. I'll set that to one. See that? Now I want to get it back up to up to 100 width, but the maximum I can stretch is, is 500. I can't just type in 1,000 here. These enter an integer between 1 and 500. So what I got to do is do 500, and then actually, yeah, 10,000 will be it. I meant to, I accidentally said 1,000. I meant to say 10,000. So then I do do. 500 again, and now let me just check the width because I 25. So now I'll make it 400. So you can just remember 500, 500, 400. There, now you got it. Back to its original size, too. You can also, of course, use stretch skew some more, like make horizontal be 300 times more. See that? And it's a pretty nice gradient effect. Another thing can do is man, I actually move the window. Let me fix that. I don't like to take the mistakes out of the videos I make. I just leave it in there. If you haven't noticed, set the width to 100, and then height to 256 again. See that? Now another thing I can do. I'll I'll use different colors this time. I use cyan and and dark green. I wonder what that looks like. I can like take the cyan and like basically like draw a curve. Fill one color, one side cyan, another other side dark green. See that? Image stretch skew one. And now image stretch skew do five hundred five hundred 400. It's an interesting looking effect. And kind of looks like stairs. But that's basically all you need to know about it. Just try and experiment, get creative, and you can make some interesting effects. And you can use other tools too, not just the pencil and line tools. Of course, you can use the curve tool and don't even stick with those tools, just like try making a curve like out of all kinds of things, even like by selecting and doing all kinds of different things. Just be creative with it, as I said. Okay, and so I'm going to stop recording now.